Hi, my name is Amar. In this video, I will discuss about video trimming in Flutter using ATX. As you can see in the output, if I select this video, then this video will be loaded here. And if we want, we can select the portion which I want to trim. And after that, if I click on the save button, then this portion will be trimmed and it will be saved in this location. How to achieve this, that portion I will discuss today. One more thing, if I click on this save, at that time you can see a linear progress bar indicator is running here, right? Now, to do this, what I have done, in the pubspec.ml file, I have taken a dependency, video trimmer and file picker, right? And here, I have created this button, pick video. If I click on this uh, button, at that time, the user will be able to select the video. Let's achieve this. What I will do is that I will move to the home module and inside the home module in the views in the home view you can see I have created this uh, button elevated button right now whenever I will click on this button at that time in the controller I need to create a function with the help of which we'll, we will be able to pick up the video right. So here what I will do is that I will create a function pick video and I will declare this method as async. Now inside this function, I will use file picker result equals to of it file picker dot platform dot pick file okay and in the pick file here i will specify the type as file type dot video correct and here i will use allow compression as false right now here i need to check if result is not equals to null then file equals to file here i will use result dot files dot single dot path i will use the path of the selected video and then what i will do is that i will use get dot two named roots dot video trim view and as an argument here i will pass the file right now if you can see here in the app routes i have created this video trim view and in the app pages for that particular route it is calling the video trim view and for this view this video trim binding will be called and in the project here i have created this video trim binding the controller and the view right now what I will do is that I will move to the video trim controller and here I will write some codes. First of all, I will use final trimmer. This is provided by the package which we have taken in the pubspec.yml file. I have created the instance of the trimmer and here I will declare some variables where start value equals to let it be 0, 0.0 dot obs and here i will declare one more variable end value and i will also initialize it with the value this now what is the purpose of this that i will discuss later on after that here i will declare where is playing equals to let it be false dot obs and and here I will use progress visibility. This visibility is this variable I am declaring is to control that uh, linear progress bar indicator whenever the trimmed video is saved. For that I am declaring this variable and I will also initialize it with false dot obs. Fine. And in the on init method here I will call load of video. This method I need to create and to create that method. I will come here and 
here I will write load video this function I am creating which video it will load the video which has been selected by the user so here I will write trimmer dot load video and after that which video file the video has been selected by the user and to get that video here I will need to use get dot arguments fine now after doing this what I will do is that I need to move to the video trim view file fine so let me move to video trim view file and here as you can see that in the body I have taken a center widget there is a container there is a padding and as a child I have taken a column widget in the column widget as a first children I have taken this visib uh, visibility widget and as a child of this widget I have taken this linear progress indicator now what I will do is that first of all I will wrap this visibility with OBX right and here in the visible I need to write controller dot progress visibility dot value right so the visibility of this linear progress indicator will be controlled by the value of this progress visibility right so this linear progress indicator will be visible only when we are saving the video till the video is saved the progress a linear progress indicator will be visible otherwise it will be invisible fine and in the elevated button here this button is actually to save the file right so here in the on pressed method I need to write controller sorry controller dot progress visibility dot value if it is true then null because till the time the video is being saved we will not be able to uh, again save the video that's why the on pressed will be null else else here here I need to use async right and in the async here I will write controller dot save video obviously I need to create this function in the controller and to create that I will move to video trim controller and here I need to create save video method now I will write the code later on first of all I will write the code for the video trim view now here I will use expanded widget and in the expanded widget as a child I will use a video viewer and in the video viewer in the trimmer I will pass controller dot trimmer okay now next I will use a uh, center widget in the center widget as a child I will use trim editor and in the trim editor in the trimmer I will pass that controller dot trimmer this section is actually used to uh, select the portion which I want to trim that is why the stream editor is used fine and here I need to specify the viewer height let it be 50 after that after that here I need to use that viewer width here I will take the full width so I am using get dot width next I need to use max video length what will be the length of the video that is I need to find out the entire duration of the selected video file and to do that here I will write duration in the duration I will pass seconds in the seconds I need to write controller dot trimmer dot video playback controller dot value dot duration dot in seconds in this way I can find out the duration of the video file selected video file actually right now here I need to use on change start means whenever the 
uh, trimming will start from the a portion from where I am starting the video trimming on change start here will take value and in the well sorry here what I will do is that I will write controller dot if you remember I have created this variable in the controller start value start value value equals to I will assign this value and similarly in the on change end here I will assign the value to controller dot end value dot value equals to value fine after that here I use on change playback state it will also take value and here I will use controller dot is playing dot value equals to false right now this is playing variable is used to control whether the video is being played or not if it is playing then the value of is playing will be false or uh, true otherwise it will be false if the video is being played then the value of this variable will be true otherwise it will be false right now to play and pause the video i need to create a text button here so here i am using a text button as you can see in the on page here i will write the code to play and pause the video and in the child if the video is being played then there will be an icon to pause and if the video is paused then there will be an icon to play so here i need to use play arrow fine now i will write the code in the on press method here i will declare a variable bool playback state equals to controller dot trimmer dot video playback control and here i need to pass the start value and the end value in the start value i will pass controller dot start value dot value and similarly here i need to pass controller dot end value dot value right and i need to use await here and async fine and after that here i need to write controller dot is playing dot value equals to whatever value is stored in this playback state okay now next what i need to do is that in the video trim controller if you remember i have created this save video method in the save video method here i need to write the code to save the video and to do that here what i will do is that i will declare this method as async and first of all i will make the value of progress visibility dot value i will make it as true and here i will use a string result equals to i will declare variable result then await trimmer dot save trim video and here i need to pass the start value end value in the start value you can guess here i need to pass a start value dot value in the end value here i need to pass end value dot value and in on save here it will take the value and whenever the video is being when the video is saved first of all i need to make the progress visibility dot value as false and in the result variable i will store this value and in the get dot snack bar what i can do is that here you can provide a title let it be video and in the message I can pass this result right and here I need to put a semicolon that's it so whenever this function will be called at that time the trimmed video will be saved and this function I am calling if you remember this function I am calling 
from here whenever the video will be saved this is how we can trim the video in flutter using getx i hope you have enjoyed my video if you have enjoyed my video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching